everyone! So, we Bennets have accomplished something unheard of. We actually finished off the last of the Thanksgiving turkey. I know! It's the first time in ages we've managed to consume all the leftovers before Dad began construction on his Christmas train extravaganza. And I blame Jane. How can someone so adorable gorge on so much turkey, you ask? Well, it helps when your mother hasn't seen you in months and is convinced you're not eating enough. My name's Izzy Bennett, and Jane is headed back to LA. I mean, it's not as if I don't have plenty to do here. I'm on my second independent study. Dr. Gardner has allowed me to online shadow a company based in England. England! So cool! Pit pit, cheerio mate, and all that rot! Uh, and they also do a lot of interesting things in international communications rights. But with Charlotte at Collins and Collins and Jane leaving... Being busy doesn't cancel out feeling lonely, you know? Come in! Hey. Are you gonna really let me leave without saying goodbye? What? You're leaving already? Yeah. Dad's in the car ready to take me to the train station. I don't know what I'm gonna do without you. I know. I'm gonna miss the family so much. I worry about you. Why? Because I'm alone in the city? Because I don't have Bing? I can't help but think that if Darcy hadn't interfered, you two would be happy now. Hmm. Let's place blame where it's supposed to go. Yes, Darcy interfered, but Bing didn't have to listen to him. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you new Jane. But part of the reason you went to LA was to talk to Bing, aren't you a little unhappy it didn't work out? Life happens. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm sad it didn't work out. Yes, I miss him. But being in LA has taught me a lot of things. I'm a lot stronger than I thought I was. And I'm really happy that I live there. <laughs> you are? Yeah. I'm in a new city. I have a job that I love with people that are really cool and interested in cool things. <laughs> I don't need one failed relationship to define me. You know, new Jane sounds really kick-ass. New Jane so is. <laughs> That's because she's having fun in her new life. Not the kind of fun we have around here. Mom's cranberry green bean gelatin. Lydia's latest schemes. Lizzie, what are you going to do when you're done with your masters? Where are you gonna go? I don't know. I might take some time to figure that out. I see. You're worried about me being away in the city, but I'm really worried about you being afraid to leave home. Uh, I was just gone for two months. Visiting Charlotte isn't the same as leaving. When Ricky Collins offered that job to you this summer, why did you say no? <laughs> because it was terrible. Because I want to finish my degree. Because going off to do a job I would hate in a new scary place would make me miserable. Uh-huh. See, you said scary. Can't a little part of you admit that a little part of the reason you said no was because you're scared? Fine. Maybe a very small part uh, was me being nervous about leaving home before I was ready. And now? Now what? What's keeping you here? You're kidding, right? I'm needed here. Mom needs someone to unleash her crazy on, and Lydia needs the occasional reality check, and Dad needs help setting up his model trains. There's a lot of tiny trees and figurines. Let Dad handle some of Mom's crazy. It's part of his job. I'm sure it was written in his vows. And Lydia, she's fine. She's an adult. Maybe it's time for you to make a change. I just want you to think about it. New Jane asks tough questions. I miss old Jane. She made craft projects and snickerdoodles and never asked me to contemplate my life choices. <laughs> Don't worry. Old Jane will be back at Christmas time with snick cinnamon sugar cookies. <laughs> oh, that's dad. I gotta go. New Jane has a new life to live. <laughs> Okay, new Jane, you win. I'll think about it. 